This tutorial is going to give a quick overview of the Reese Stone Advanced Paver Calculator Tool. This tool is for preliminary feasibility and estimation purposes only. We first recommend creating an account as it allows you to create reports and to save your projects for viewing later. I've already made an account, so I'm just going to sign in. With signing in, you can also give your projects a name and a location and open them later. To begin, we recommend setting the lot width for how large you need it. Remember that you can always adjust this later. With this tutorial, we're going to create a simple patio with a pool in the center. You can use the straight tool and draw each node as required, or use the square tool. Simply click and drag to create your shape. I'm also going to enable Snap to Grid, as it helps to keep things a little tidier when designing. Now that you've created your shape, you can select which paver you want on your patio. For this example, we're going to go with our Lexington tile in Sterling. To add a border to this patio, simply select Borders, Add Border, and we're going to choose our Holland border in Charcoal. You can also add an additional border here, or click Remove to remove a border design. Now we're going to draw a pool in the middle of our patio, so we're going to go to our Object Layout Tools and choose Square. Once again, simply click and drag to create the shape. Please note that any object drawn on top of your patio will be subtracted from the material totals. To change the color of your object you've just drawn, click the bucket tool and use the color wheel and slider to pick the right color. I have selected blue to remind me the shape is a pool. If you create something else, like a fire pit or an outdoor kitchen, you can choose whichever color you prefer. If you want to add a border around the pool you've just made, make sure it is selected and once again click Add border. We're going to go with the same Holland border that we chose before. If you make a mistake while using the calculator, you can always use the undo or redo buttons up here in the orange box. You can also delete a node or delete the whole area that you've made here in the paver layout toolbox. Now we're going to click quick estimate to gather a quick estimate of the project. But before we do, we're going to have to give our project a name and location. Let's name this one Reese Stone Calculator and choose Vancouver, British Columbia as our location. Now the calculator has generated a quick estimate of your project below the design. You can see on the left side of the screen that the calculator has automatically assigned our patio and pool with the areas E and F. It also displays which product we have in each of these areas. So for our patio, we have Lexington Tile, and a Holland border. For our pool, just a Holland border. We can also rename these areas if we want to. Simply click on the area you want to rename, click Label, and type out the desired name. We're going to call this one Pool. Let's also rename the patio. Once again, click on the patio area, click the Label tool, and type out Patio. If we click Quick Estimate again, we can now see the updated area names with the correct products for each. You can also see the material totals of Lexington Tile and Holland and the quantities of each that you require. It also estimates the total base material, the bedding material, and the total outer perimeter or restraint that you will need. It also estimates how many bundles of each material you will need. For this, we're going to need three bundles of Lexington Tile and one bundle of Holland. For a more comprehensive report, click Create Report. The calculator then generates a picture of the drawing you have just made, along with the material quantities that we mentioned before. You can now print this report by simply clicking the Print button. If you want to save a PDF of this plan, simply click Print Plan to PDF and it will download your project plan so you can view it later. Once you're happy with the design, make sure to save it if you haven't already. If you want to view previous project plans, simply click Open and a list of all your projects will appear. If you want to delete a project, 
simply click the Delete button. In the next tutorial, we're going to go over some of the more advanced features and unlock the full potential of the Reese Stone Advanced Paver Calculator Tool.